Welcome to my channel. I'm Gary Wiryawan and today I want to share to you my idea of the perfect micro four thirds camera. Let's go. Before we start the video, allow me to say Happy New Year to you all. Thank you always for your support for my channel and I hope 2023 will be a great year for all of us. So recently I just started making my New Year resolution. As usual, I want to lose a little bit more weight. I want to take more photos. I want to go to more locations and I want to do this. I want to do that. The usual stuff. But also I came up to a realization as well. I realized that we haven't got the perfect micro four thirds enthusiast camera yet and i really hope that in 2023 such camera will be available for us now i want to say i am privileged and i'm very grateful because i'm able to own and try so many different micro four thirds cameras and because of this particular experience i can now have an idea of my version of the perfect micro four thirds enthusiast camera in this last few months and years, there's lots of new micro four thirds cameras. We now have the OM system, OM1, OM5, and then there's also Panasonic GH6. There's also the GH5 Mark II, G95, G100. I'm really sure all of these cameras are really great. I think they're really, really nice micro four thirds cameras. However, I don't think they are my version of the perfect micro four thirds camera. Some of them might have advanced photo features and some of them might have really cool video features, but none of them really have what I really want. Something right in the middle of my balance scale. I'm just a hobbyist. I love taking pictures, I love taking video, but I'm not a professional photographer or filmmaker. That means I don't really need 8K video resolution. I don't really need 60 frames per second burst rate. I don't really need AI assisted autofocus system, all of these bells and whistles. I don't really need any of that. All I need is just something small, nimble, agile that's uh, capable in both photo and video. So in today's video, I really want to share to you what my perfect micro four thirds camera is and hopefully somebody from Panasonic or OM system will listen to me and they will make something similar to this. So first let's talk about brand. I am not only doing photography with my camera, I am also recording video as well. So naturally I want something that's both capable in terms of photo and video. And that means I will gravitate more towards Panasonic Lumix cameras. A lot of Panasonic cameras naturally offers lots of video features that I use frequently. And also it is not sacrificing on some important photography features as well. So I think Panasonic is the most perfect hybrid camera brand. Olympus or OM system is also a good brand. They focus more in terms of photography, but lately I know that they are not slouching in the video department as well. So I can still consider OM system as well. Now for the actual camera itself, I think it is important for us to discuss this in the perspective of platforms. What I mean by platforms is the actual body type of the camera, whether it's a DSLR type or a rangefinder type, and then try to build up something from that. And in terms of Panasonic cameras, uh, there are so many different kinds of platforms. There's the GH line of cameras, and then there's also the G lines of cameras, as well as the GX lines of cameras. All of these different platforms, uh, I think they are really nice platforms for what we're going to uh, visualize right here. I actually have some G and GX cameras. So I have the Panasonic G85 that's currently recording this video right now. And then this old Panasonic GX8 that I really love so much for still photography. And I also have this recent purchase, the GX85. All of these cameras, they're really nice. I think they're almost perfect in one way or another, but they're not totally perfect. My Panasonic G85, which is coming from the G platform of cameras from Panasonic, I think it's the almost 
perfect hybrid camera in terms of video it is very capable and it has important features such as in-body stabilizer in camera and then also it has flipping screen so i can monitor myself when i'm recording video like this and then also it has the 3.5 millimeter audio jack so i can use proper microphone like what i'm doing right now however i travel a lot and when i travel i will usually bring my camera with me and some lenses and also if i'm not traveling i'm also doing photography almost every day by the way you can check my everyday photography vlog over here i will put the link on the card above so you can watch it and that means i have to have a small and lightweight camera something that's easy for me to carry around but still capable the G85 is a really, really capable camera. The features inside the G85 is perfect for me. However, it is barely small. It is barely lightweight. So it it's not the perfect camera for me because of the size and the weight. Next, my Panasonic GX8, which is coming from the GX platform of cameras from Panasonic. This is one of my most favorite micro fortress camera ever it has lots of features important features such as weather sealing and then also it has this flipping screen and although it doesn't feature a 3.5 millimeter audio jack it has 2.5 millimeter audio jack right here so i can use adapter and i can still have great audio quality when i'm recording video However, the problem with the GX8 is that it's a little bit heavy and also there's no proper in-body stabilizer for video. This has in-body stabilizer, but it only works for still picture. So yeah, this is almost perfect, but not totally perfect. And then there's my Panasonic GX85. Again, this is from the GX platform. This is really small. This is really lightweight. It's easy to travel with and I can just put it inside a small sling bag and just use it for everyday photography if I'm not traveling. So the size and weight is perfect. And also it has great in-body stabilizer that works for both still photography and for video. However, the problem with the GX85 is that it doesn't have 3.5 millimeter audio input so if i'm recording video and i need audio i cannot plug it directly to the camera i have to use some sort of external recorder and also it doesn't have flipping screen so i cannot really monitor myself when i'm vlogging i mean the screen right here is articulating but it's not totally flipping so i can see myself so that's a problem and that makes the gx85 not my perfect camera so i hope you see where i'm going with this right now what i really want is just to combine all of these cameras together into one single perfect camera mm. so what i need is something small something light that works really well in terms of both photography and video without skimping on the basic features that also has in-body stabilizer 3.5 millimeter audio jack and flipping screen and that will be my perfect camera. Now that you've already understand my requirements for the perfect camera, now let's start to talk about the potential candidates for the perfect camera. First, let's talk about the possibility of G100 Mark II. The G100 is really an interesting camera and I really think it is very close to my version of perfect camera. It is small, it is lightweight, which is really important for me for travel photography and video. It has flipping screen, it has audio input, it is just almost perfect. When the G100 was launched, I was really, really excited. I'm really interested in this camera and I almost bought it. Let's be honest with you. I'm very tempted to get a G100 even right now. However, the G100 is missing two important things. First, it doesn't have in-body image stabilizer. I mean, it has a digital electronic stabilizer, which works pretty well in video, I guess, but it doesn't work for still photography. And I need that. Second thing that it doesn't have is a high flash sync speed, which is important for my still photography because sometimes I'm doing stroke piece photography or off camera flash photography. And I need at least one one sixtieth of a second. The G100 can only do one fiftieth of a second, which is not that high. And in outdoor bright sunny day situation, it is not enough at all. 
So for the G100 Mark II, I want the G100 but with those two extra features. The real in-body stabilizer, not just a digital one, and also a higher flash sync speed for off-camera flash photography like what I'm doing. So if the G100 Mark II comes out with those two features without sacrificing any of the other, it will be my perfect camera. Next, another potential candidate for my perfect camera could be the GX9 Mark II. I always have a sweet spot in my heart for the GX lines of cameras from Panasonic. I have the GX7, I have the GX8, I have the GX85, and even though I don't have the GX9, I really think it is also a nice camera, and if I don't have the GX85 right now, I could be having the GX9 as well. So yeah, all of these GX cameras, I really think they are very close to my perfect camera. So now for a moment, let's pretend this is a GX9. And while I think GX9 is perfect, it is still missing a few key important features. As I mentioned before, it doesn't have 3.5 millimeter audio jack for proper microphone. And also it doesn't have flipping articulating screen so that I can monitor myself when I'm vlogging or recording video like this. So if Panasonic decides to make a GX9 Mark II, please just use the GX9 and then just add those two extra features without sacrificing the other features that's already there. Then it will be one of the candidates of my perfect camera. So yeah, the candidates for my perfect camera, there are two. First is the G100 Mark II, basically a G100 with a real in-body stabilizer and a better, higher flashing speed or a GX9 Mark II, a GX9 with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and a tilting flipping screen. I really hope that Panasonic or whoever will listen to me and make this version of the perfect micro footers camera for me. I really wish they're making it in 2023. And when they make it, I will surely buy this camera because that is my vision of the perfect micro footers enthusiast camera. As of right now, I will be happy to stay with my GX85, GX8, and the Panasonic G85 as well. I will keep using them because although they are not my totally perfect enthusiast camera, they are still great in so many ways. So I'm still grateful for them and I will keep using them as long as I can. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that today's video is entertaining for you and useful for you as well. And please comment down below, what is your version of the perfect micro Fortress camera or whatever camera format that you are using? Please comment down below and share with us and I'll be happy to read all of your comments. And also if you have any question about today's video, please feel free to comment down below as well and I will try to answer them. Also don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video and subscribing to my channel down below. Thank you and see you on the next video. Goodbye.